I'm ready to cash my lottery ticket. Glad somebody is. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery ticket. Can't wait to be rich. Yep. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat. Until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. Do you know them? Do good for my working kind. I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. There's that dirty RV from the other day. Obviously, nobody took my advice. Uh, stop that. Stop. No barking. There was something creepy about that guy and his dog. Breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware mm, makes me feel 13 again. Good lord, talk about apocalyptic. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over and out. Drool. Want everything. She is a lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man, he just... Yeah, 
I'm sure he is since you married him, but don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Why? What did Chloe tell you? Well, Chloe texted me that David slapped her yesterday. He feels awful, and he will be punished. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. I get it, Joyce. I know Chloe still likes to stir things up. Yeah, she does provoke people, especially David. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What do you want to eat? I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. One bacon omelet for the young lady staff. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Bacon at 12 o'clock hot. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is a diner. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. Beer? I keep going back like in time. Plenty. Stick with the bacon. Order ready. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Incoming. I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. I still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ugh. Mm, speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat. To you, for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Unless you set your room on fire smoking out. Oh god, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. 
What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. You definitely have a razor blade keychain. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Okay, Max, study every item carefully and don't forget anything. So this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max, I'm hella ready. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? 13 cigarettes. I smoke too much to have 13 cigarettes. Okay, psychic girl, let me show you what's actually in my pocket. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. This is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max, I'm hella ready. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Supermax. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? 11, 10 a.m. That is so wrong. Okay, psychic girl, let me show you what's act. Okay, Max, study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Bro, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max, I'm hella ready. A parking ticket. You know me well. But 
What is the exact time I was busted? 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. Your car keys. Duh! Way too easy! I need details! Describe my keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? Eighty-six cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. <laughs> 